Well, soon long last winter, a fella come to Pumpkin Center and said he was a walking delegate for a labor union. He said everything was union now in order to be successful and quoted the United States as an example. Well, we held a meeting down to the schoolhouse and had a lot of speaking on the subject. Jim Lawson was chairman. Jim said he used to be a union man. He worked for the Union Pacific. <laughs> Well, sir, we organized a lot of unions, put near everybody joined except me. I thought I'd wait a spell and see how it was going to work. Mother said I joined every fool thing that come along anyhow. Well, we got more labor unions now than you can shake a stick at. Well, when it comes springtime, I had to hire a lot of help to work on the farm. If I had more trouble than a Democrat at a Republican rally. <laughs> I hired one feller and shot him to plow, and he plowed a furrow across the field and stopped. And I went out and asked him why he didn't turn around and plow back. And he said, that wasn't his job, turning the horse around. That was a job of the horse turner union. So I had to hire another feller, go along, turn the horse around. Well, when it come dinner time, none of them would come in to dinner. So I went out and asked them why they didn't unhitch the horse and come to dinner. And he said, that wasn't their job unhitch the horse. That was a job of the horse unhitcher union. <laughs> well, when we got to the barn, none of them would see him. Said that was a job of the feeder union. Well, I come to the conclusion if I was going to get anything done, I'd have to do it myself. So I went out to take in some hay, what the haymaker union had left after they had worked what they called eight hours. And that walking delegate came out there and told me I couldn't take in that hay. I wasn't a member of the union. <laughs> well, I asked him how long it would take to become a member, and he said two weeks. Well, I told him I'd like to get my hay in, look as though it was going to rain, and I was feared it would get spiled. Well, at the first forkful, every darn one of them went on a strike and called me a scab and wouldn't let me work on my own farm. <laughs> Well, I've got a rifle and a double-barrel shotgun and two bulldogs now, and they don't none of them belong to the union. And if that walking delegate comes around my place again, by gosh, he's going to be a running delegate. <laughs>